This is Old Man Barnes, probably looking at a sheep heart. Let's talk about sheep heart dissection, safety, and possibly a few easy features that we might can see inside of this heart. Probably the first thing I'm going to do when I look at this heart is try to determine where is the front and where is the back. The atria are dead giveaways. There's the left and the right atrium. When you see this curving over vessel, that is the pulmonary trunk, and that's on the front. That's on the front. So that's going to be coming out of the, the right ventricle over here. Notice when we look around back that you can see lots of vessels coming out. This is the base, apex, anterior intraventricular artery, anterior descending artery most likely separating the left ventricle from the right ventricle. So when we cut this, we want to just cut it like we're going to open a, a clamshell. We're just going to make it that simple. And I want you to cut away from you. I do not want you to cut toward your body. Do not cut toward another person. And for simplicity, I'm going to use a, a scalpel, even though a, a larger knife might be a little bit easier, but maybe the scalpel will be easy for you to, to witness in this video. Roughly, I'm wanting you to cut like this and then like this so that this this whole heart will open so let's see what is the best way to do this see I'm this way I'm cutting toward me and I, I just don't like that I probably the safest way would be to just cut this direction this may or may not produce the the coronal section through the heart that we want, but it certainly seems very safe. So let's just kind of keep going around like this and try to remain in, in roughly the same plane. And then that way, we're always cutting away from ourselves. And the truth is it would be better to damage a heart uh, that we dissect than to, to cut ourselves. So now that we've kind of got the end of that open, we're going to have to split it down the middle. And so let's get our scalpel blade inside and see if we can kind of cut right down the middle here, see what happens. So far, so good. I, I have successfully cut away from my body the whole time. I like that. Lovely, lovely, and we have definitely split this open just like I wanted, and this is a pretty nice specimen. Again, here's the anterior aspect of the heart. Notice that the left ventricle is much thicker than the right. This is very well seen. Look at these big, huge papillary muscles right here. The chordae tendinae are anchored, anchored down and so if we have the left ventricle, this would be the bicuspid or mitral valve. Hmm. Okay, there are some of the pectinate muscles up in the atrium there. Notice that's the atrium. That would be the left atrium. Interventricular septum, apex. This would be the right ventricle. So whatever valve is in the right ventricle would be the tricuspid valve. And let's see what happens when we go through this pulmonary trunk and follow this. We're going to just gently kind of push this through. We're not trying to, to poke a hole. Okay, I can feel it coming through. There we go. So now when we look into the other side of the heart, we can see that coming from the right ventricle is the pulmonary trunk, very nice. This sure looks like the aortic valve right here coming out of the left ventricle, doesn't it? Let's kind of take a look at that. Where does that come up through and exit? 
Okay, then that's possibly an aorta. Ascending aorta. Sure looks like it. We turn this around and look at it a little bit more. Here's the left ventricle, and you can see the trabeculae carne, that's what I've always called it, trabeculae, trabecula carne e. I possibly heard it pronounced. When we come out of the left ventricle, there is a passage right out of here. This appears to be the aorta. So there you go. So we have, uh, well, how does that go? I came out a different aperture, didn't I? Okay, aorta, aorta, okay. There we go, those are both ascending. So this might be the brachiocephalic trunk on the right possibly and then this may be the arch of the aorta coming up and over possibly that's it that is the sheep heart dissection safety remember to wear your goggles and always cut away from your body and good job good job Buen trabajo. Wow, look at that papillary muscle right under there. That is a really big one. That is a nice papillary muscle. Several chordae, tendinae attached to that. Bicuspid or mitral valve on the left side.